Hi everyone, my name is Rashmi. Welcome to my channel, Keep Calm and Crochet. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this lovely granny stripe baby blanket. For this blanket, I chose to use four different colours. So if you would like to have a similar effect on your blanket, then I would suggest for you to use four different colours and change colour each row at a time. For this tutorial, I will be using this standard double knit yarn and I'm going to work this with a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. So let's get started by working a slip knot. To do this, you're going to grab hold of the yarn and wrap it around your two fingers, making an X at the base. Slip your thumb inside and grab hold of the yarn from the right hand side. Pull this down and this creates your slip knot. Let's slip our hook inside and tighten the loop around our hook by pulling on this end here. Now when we're working with granny stripes, we work in multiples of three and in the end you add one. So to work a standard baby blanket, you're going to chain 120. So we're going to yarn over, pull through the loop, that's one, yarn over, pull through the loop two, yarn over, pull through the loop three, yarn over, pull through the loop four, and five. Just like this, you're going to work your desired number of chains and meet me back here. Once you work your 120 chains, you're going to chain one more in the end. Um, as I'm only working a sample piece for you guys, I have gone ahead and chained 25. So that's 24 being a multiple of 3 plus 1 on top. Now once you get to your end, you're going to skip the first chain from your hook, which is this one here. We're going to slip our hook in the second chain, yarn over and pull up a loop, two loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through both. That's my first single crochet. Be mindful, I'm talking in US terminology. In UK terminology, this would be a double crochet. Now, going to follow this on with another single crochet in the next chain stitch. Pull up a loop, two loops on our hook again, yarn over and pull through both. And just like this, you're going to work a single crochet in every single one of these stitches all the way to the end. Meet me back here. Once you finish your first row of single crochets, we are going to chain three. That's one, two, three. Turn your work around and now we can work on top of these stitches. We're going to yarn over and work a double crochet in the same stitch as our chain three. So at the base, there is some space here and this is where we're going to work our stitch. Yarn over, slip your hook in there. Yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook this time. Yarn over, pull through the first two. Yarn over, pull through the next two. Now this chain three is also a double crochet in this particular case. So we've started off with two double crochets right at the beginning of this row. We're now going to skip two stitches. So we're going to skip this one and skip this one and work some stitches in the third stitch. Yarn over. And in this stitch here, slip your hook inside, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the next two. That's my first one in this stitch. Let's go ahead and work two more. Yarn over, slip your hook in there, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the next two. Now last one here. And that makes our cluster of three double crochets. From here, we're going to skip the next two stitches and repeat the same process in the third stitch here. So we're going to go ahead in this space here and work three more double crochets. And just like this, you're gonna go ahead and finish this whole row off by skipping two stitches and working three double crochets in the third stitch. We're gonna do the same all the way to the end. I'll meet you back here. I'm now at the end of my second row and you'll notice you have three stitches left. So here are my two stitches and the third one is your turning chain. This is where we're going to work two double crochets to finish this row off. So yarn over, slip your hook in this turning chain here. Yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the next two. Yarn over, let's go ahead and work another double crochet in the same stitch. Now this finishes our second row. So with this 
We started off with two double crochets at the beginning and we're going to finish off with two double crochets as well. From here you have a couple of options. First is if you would like the same effect as my blanket, you're going to change colour at this point. If you would like to keep the same colour throughout your blanket, you just follow the same methods that I follow without changing the colour. And the third option is that you might stick with the same colour for a few rows and then change over to a new colour. So whatever you choose, you're going. I'm going to show you what to do to gain the effect that my blanket has, which is changing colour every row. So to do this, you're going to stop here where you've got two loops on your crochet. Let's go back one more step to show you further and clarify exactly what to do. So we've got one double crochet, yarn over, and we're going to work a double crochet in there to finish this row. Slip your hook inside, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through, just the first two at this point. So if, you're cha if you are changing colour, I would suggest for you to keep the two loops here, grab hold of your new colour, loop this over onto your hook and pull this in. So instead of doing this step with your blue colour, you've attached the new yarn in by doing this. I tend to give my tail ends a little knot, so I'm going to do that right here. Hold our new colour. That's one and two, it just makes it more secure. And now I can go ahead and snip this yarn off. And we can continue working with this blanket, but with this new pink colour. So from here, you're going to chain three. One, two, three. This is again your turning chain and your first stitch here. Now at this point, I'm not going to work another double crochet here. Rather, I'm going to skip these two, I'm going to yarn over, and in the space between your stitches, right here and here, we're going to work a cluster of three double crochets. So yarn over your hook, slip your hook in that space between your stitches from your previous row, yarn over and pull up a loop, three loops on a hook, yarn over, pull through first two, yarn over, pull through next two. That's my first double crochet here. I'm going to work two more in the same space. Going back in there, pull up a loop and work my final double crochet. And for the second row, it's much easier because we are just working a cluster of three double crochets between every single one of these spaces here. So you don't have to count many stitches. So let's go ahead and work a cluster of three double crochets in each of these spaces and I'll meet you at the end of this row. Once you reach the end of this row, we're going to finish off by working a double crochet in the top of this stitch here. So we started this row with one double crochet and we're going to finish it off with one double crochet as well. So yarn over your hook and let's locate our third chain. So we've got the first one here, second here and there's the third one. Slip your hook in there, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through only the first two as we're going to change colour from here on. So grab your next choice of colour. I'm going to stick with the blue again. So loop that over your hook and pull this through instead. I like to give these tail ends a knot again. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. If you choose to use a different method to change colour, that's totally fine. Whatever makes you feel confident and comfortable, I would suggest for you to stick to that. So once you've done this, we're going to chain three, that's one, two, three, turn your work around and at this point I'm going to work another double crochet at the base of this chain three. So slip your hook in there and work a double crochet. Now you'll notice we are repeating this row here. So this was my second row and I'm going to be repeating that same process. So I'm going to start with two double crochets and then I'm going to work a double, a cluster of three double crochets between each of these stitches right here in that gap all the way to the end. And for the rest of the blanket, you are just going to repeat the same process. So you're going to be repeating row two and three over and over again until you get to your desired length. For the baby blanket to be standard size, I would suggest for you to work 65 rows altogether. 
So let's go ahead and finish working two more rows and then I'll meet you back here. Once you've finished your 65 rows, you're going to chain one and let's go ahead and slip this yarn off and pull this yarn out of this stitch and pull this stitch down to secure this in place. Now I can go ahead and work all these ends into the respective colour and that will finish our blanket. I hope you enjoyed learning this baby blanket with me. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment below. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.